Samsung, proud sponsor of Techbusters. I'm still trying to work out the beret and what is the purpose of it. But anyway, uh, that's Toby's dress sense. I Do suspect. you not know? You, who dresses you? What is the My point of the beret? My father is French and that you, was not yeah. a beret. It was you, a flat cap made from felt. You're a fool. You look like a pimp fleur there. Scar bleu. Anyway, anyway last enough year, of that. Enough of you telling me about indeed. dress sense. Let's just talk about technology, well, shall we? Last year, the guys at Stuff Magazine decided that the LG G2 was their smartphone of 2013. Well, here comes a sequel. This is the LG G3. It was launched in Johannesburg just last week. And uh, I must say that it is a beautiful phone. It's slightly different to the previous LG G2. Now, you'll notice that this looks quite uh, metally at the back, but it's in fact a plastic cover. Uh, it's got a removable cover, a removable but it battery. it does have 20% metal polymers or something in it? Well, it does, it does. But the, the point is that the back is plastic, but it looks metal. But what they've done is, I mean, LG has come to the party of the big boys in the smartphone industry. And if you look at this device over here, you look at the quality of the screen and the fluidity of this device. It's an absolutely beautiful device. I'm going to play you some, uh, some video just so that you can get a sense of how good the display is on this particular device. And the sound is quite amazing. I mean, look at this. If you zoom into that, into the camera, you'll see that this is just a, a 4K quality picture that's coming through your way. Now, aside from the quality, the speakers are really good. It's got a very impressive camera. The skill with this camera is it's got a laser focus. So it's able to take a photograph and focus very, very quickly, something like 237 milliseconds. But where LG are positioning this, they are now playing with the big boys like the S5s of the world, like the HTC M81, like the Sony Xperia Z2. And it's going to be interesting to see who wins the fight of the super Android smartphone yeah, market. We call, because them, we call them super them. phones there, it's stuff. The super phones. It's a 5.5 inch screen. So I don't know if you can d say it's a smartphone or a phablet, but it's nice. Um, I do it's like nice. the curved back. I like the way they're positioning themselves, and I, and I do like that there's, there's healthy competition. You know, it was a, it was a Samsung-only show for a long time. HTC's, despite their, their you know, troublesome past in South Africa, they're back with a bit of a bang. they got a good phone. LG's got a good phone, Samsung. Sony, Sony Z2, yes. superb. I like that there's competition, and, and even though the motoring manufacturers always get upset with us for saying it's the diff it's like having an Audi or a BMW or a yeah, Mercedes. Yeah. It really is. They're all top-end brands. They all produce really great phones. But, you know, this one's defining feature perhaps is that it has the, the on-off button right in the back with the, yeah, the volume button there. So, right you know, there. they've tried to do something different with that. I don't know if it's a success or not. Well, I um, kind of get used to the button at the back. It works, it works quite nicely. The weight feels nice and the ratio feels nice. But I think, uh, Toby, you'll agree with me on this, is that... that you know, if you ask uh, someone which is the best out of the lot, it's kind of difficult to say which of these phones is the best one because you've got the LG, which I think overall sets a really good pace. I mean, it's got a great screen. You've got the HTC, which I think has got the best sound quality. You've got the uh, uh, Samsung S5, which I think has got the best picture quality. This has got a fantastic camera on board. And, of course, the Sony has got the other you know, stuff that it's waterproof, and I think the build quality is quite impressive. So each one of them has got its own unique qualities. Uh, it's difficult to set them apart to say which is the best overall. I kind of also get the sense that the S5, because of when it was launched, I mean, the S5 is, what, six months now, four or five months old, um, I think that Samsung's going to surprise us by coming out with another device very soon. I mean, they've got the Note 4, I think, that's due to come out. And they're talking about a really rugged, metalized, really premium yeah, device I, I that think, will come I out. I think this, the, 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 the ruggedness, the waterproofness or the dustproofness has really kind of uh, come to the fore as a, as a desirable feature. I mean, I think, I think we live in such an age where people drop their phones, drop them in water. Um, I think that that's what people want. Remember that polymer that we saw in Vegas at CES? Yes. That they coat the inside, so you don't have to plug all the gaps and the import and the jack, but if water does get in, the circuit board is sealed, as it were. Yeah. So, and I think that's clever. So I think Samsung's using that technology. Yes. And that's the kind of stuff we're starting to need. And I, I, I see Samsung's campaign. I've been seeing a lot of their adverts on television over the weekend where they, you know, it's in a house environment. There's a mother cooking and the baking stuff falls over it. But having said that, as waterproof as these devices are, the moment you drop it on the floor, even from a slight distance like this, I mean, I had some 
somebody who dropped the Sony Xperia Z2 and the screen cracked. I so keep saying it's a slab of glass. It is a slab it's of a glass, exactly. A slab of Gorilla glass, but, but it's still a slab of glass. But having said that... Which is why, yeah. you know, I was going to say, I don't know if we've got time, but my favorite thing of, of recent times is this Tech 21 cover this really hard cover mm. we saw mm. this together in, in berlin didn't we let's we'll talk about that next week yeah we're, we? we're at ces where they put that yeah. over your finger and they smashed it down and they're using it as in in covers and in, in things but there's some great video yeah. footage but so um, uh, that's where we're going to leave it for today